All along the way, birds have accompanied the exodus toward permanent waters. Almost as one, they begin heading upstream, following the multitudes of fish. Having finished mating, the caiman follow, quickening their pace upstream. Many will find their way to the fabled Cayman Lake, which few humans have laid eyes on. Reputed to be a Cayman paradise, it may keep the reptiles safe through the worst of the dry season and give the next generation a fighting chance of survival against daunting odds. Finally, the exodus triggered by the dry season comes to its end. The Cayman have reached their watery haven. After many grueling miles, Matriz arrives among the first waves of Cayman entering the hidden sanctuary. This place becomes a crocodilian carnival during the dry season. A tribal gathering, complete with a smorgasbord of food. It is so remote as to be virtually inaccessible to outsiders. Even poachers rarely venture here. The lake offers both shelter and wild abundance. These waters have been shrinking since the rains ended, trapping countless fish within a dwindling domain. With so much to eat now and little threat of poaching, these caiman have the chance to grow older and immense. Reptiles of record-breaking size may lurk here. Some of the males may break previous records, growing to over 20 feet and weighing well over half a ton. Like all crocodilians, black caiman can go for months without much food. With fish dispersed throughout the flooded forest during the wet season, hunting can be more difficult. Whether their dramatic hunting technique stuns their prey or traps them in open jaws remains a mystery. But in the heat of the midday sun, even the most avid fisherman needs to stop and bask. For weeks, the lake has been an abundant feast of fish. But now, while the males and juveniles feast, Matrice and other expectant females slip away from the banquet. Since arriving at the Cayman Lake, she has made the most of the food in anticipation of her eggs. And now, they are ready. <laughs> 